Welcome to MacGyver's Workshop, where you never know what we're going to be working on next. If you're not too careful, you just might learn something. Hi there. Welcome back to another episode of MacGyver's Workshop, where you never know what we're going to be working on next, and if you're not too careful, you just might learn something. Today, Tammy's got some mowing she wants to do, but it is just downright bloody hot out there, so... We've been meaning to do it forever and ever, amen, and we just never did and never got around to it. So uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to put a sunshade on our tractor. So what we have is a 1969 Massey Ferguson 135. And so about eight or nine years ago, we kind of went all the way through it and rebuilt the engine and the new clutch in it and did all that kind of stuff so uh, been a good tractor and uh, what we're gonna do is we've got a universal sunshade that'll mount to the fenders here kind of kind of give you a little bit of cover when you're out there riding on the tractor so let's show you what we got so what we got is a universal sunshade kit you get it from I got this one from tractor supply and you can see how it kind of mounts it can mount to the fenders it can mount to the axles it can it has a whole different bunch of different ways to mount it and uh, you can see what it just kind of gives you a little cover there while you're riding so let's get started so what we're gonna do we got the thing opened up here we'll get all our parts out hey there's there's one for the axle mount, and this one is for the fender mount. Not sure which one we got here, or if it's all three. I think it comes with all the goodies to do either one. And then there's your cover. And you can get replacement covers too, because I'm sure this will get eat up by the sun. Because right now, at the moment, we don't have a shed to park it under. So. And we'll just lay out all our parts here. Get the box out of the way. Kind of reminiscent of a bimini top on a boat. Yeah, look, another piece of cardboard to burn. I reckon these are the destructions. Assembly instructions and repair parts list for Universal Tractor Sunshade. So, this is a JBT3, I believe. So, so this is pretty much what we're going to do right here. If you'll look at that. And I guess what we'll have to do is just figure out how we're going to mount that. And I guess I'll mount them as far apart as I can to make it as sturdy as possible. So to do that, let's, let's gather up some tools. That looks like 9 sixteenths. Need that out there anyway. So what we got to do is we have to get our figure out how we're going to mount this, but we have to make sure we're clear of our controls. So this is going to have to go about about back that far, and so what we'll do is we'll make our mark for that first hole right here I know I'm locking the camera here we'll do that and then what we'll have to do is I we'll have to make sure we're make sure we're not in our okay so we're away from this other bracket here which is good you'll see there's a there's a bracket in here and 
probably want to stay away from that and uh, that comes right in front of the controls anyway so we're going to be back here which is good what we'll do is is we'll uh, we'll get that get that hole started and then we can hold this in place while we you know we'll have to make this plumb and all that good stuff and then we'll move over to the other side and make sure we put the other one in the exact same spot so we'll have to take some measurements and make it work so but that's all part of MacGyver we'll start by drilling our hole here. And of course it goes without saying, don't slam through there and drill a hole in your tire. That would suck. Did we hit the tire? <laughs> no. No, we're good. Alright, now we'll get one of our bolts started in there and that should help us we'll get that and snug it up kind of hold everything else in place while we position this one we'll use a level to make sure our thing is plumb now I got my got my ratchet on the other side of the fender here get this thing snugged up now we'll get a level for us to set this to where make it right this way and all that good stuff. It's always nice if you got a level that has magnets on it so it'll stick. And then you can set, you know, roughly where you want this to be. I mean, we're not talking about mill spec here, but. We do want it to be reasonably straight. Then we find out where that is. And we mark there. And level off. And we can move all this out of the way. And then we'll drill that right there. has a nice big fat washer to go on the back side of the fender here so you, you got a, a really good solid mounting slide it moves huh to straighten it out yeah mm -hmm. now we know we're we know we're plumb this way so and we can rotate these around as we see fit later. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and run these up to their highest position because 
And the other thing you can do too with this, uh, you, know, you can mount these on either side of this bracket. Now I'm going to keep them back here because I need clearance for this control. But that's why I say it's really, really pretty universal. That's yeah. really nice. Yeah. And the canopy goes up from there. So. We'll get the other side done and then we'll be back. So I got this going here. Can you hand me one of those nuts right there, sweetie? Oh, let's see, so that's right. Ish. Did you there. shoot a measurement or do you need your tape measure? No, that's that's what that was that first one that I did down below here. Tennessee just gets hotter every summer. Oh yeah, no doubt. So I got both of my brackets in there. Now the problem I'm having is, is with with it adjusted all the way out as far as it can go, it's still too narrow for that canopy. So we're gonna have to MacGyver up something here. And what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna have to cut right here and put a sleeve on each side so this can come out further on each side to, to accommodate the width of that canopy. 1.38 So as is with all things universal sometimes you have to finagle things a little bit to make it work and with this, I have to extend. I have to extend this bit out about an inch or so, inch and two inches on each side, to make it fit the width of the canopy there. So, so that's how we're going to do it. So I got me a made me a little sleeve out of some inch and a quarter conduit. Had to heat it with a torch to kind of swedge it up to fit over the existing tubing but it worked and it fit nice and snug then a little gas weld around there and some etching primer and some black epoxy to hopefully prevent it from rusting now we're going to do the same thing to that side all right so basically once we get we get our pieces extended right there you can see now now it comes down nice and vertical but before they were coming in like this and it didn't look right and they were real wobbly so by extending those pieces out a little bit we got we got it all square and plumb and looks good now my paint's dry here. Shot it with some etching primer and some epoxy black. Help prevent that from rusting where I had to weld it. But at any rate, now we've got a nice little canopy over there, kind of keep the sun off you while you're out mowing the pasture pretty straightforward but again anytime it says universal you can bet you're gonna have to do some fabricating so eh, nothing for MacGyver's workshop so thanks for watching again 
stay tuned for other stuff. You never know what we're going to be working on next in here. So please subscribe. And until next time, see ya.